Imperialist aggression spread with impunity throughout the scattered plains until its expanding borders slammed into the lands of the ancient Chimera throne. Welcome to the next installment of JD and the Sump Sea. D here. Uh, you get a little live action of uh, the game Jay and I had. We'll have a little bit of that later on. Um, second installment of the sludge uh, build. Yeah, um, there's these uh, things called gore tokens um, that was really the catalyst to get me really interested in this game. Basically what happens is a unit gets wounded or takes damage and these gore tokens appear, um, which in turn puts stress on the unit and bad things happen. Um, I really wanted to model these gore tokens. Um, sorry, I don't know why exactly. It's a lot of fun. I thought it'd be a fun project to do and it will use up all of these crazy bits that I've got. Good bits bash. So anyways, the beginning there, um, I was making, there's uh, three kinds of tokens. Uh, there's a single gore token, then there's if you remember the page, there's four, then there's eight. And basically what I went through here, these are mostly orc and tyranid arms. Um, and I went real simple. Uh, the single ones have one arm on them. The fours have four and the eights have eight. Um, seriously having way too much fun making this kind of stuff. Um, painting it up as well. It's going to be an airbrush festival here. I continuously play with colors and mixes uh, using primers and inks, all kinds of different stuff. This, uh, you know, what, what does it what does a pile of gore look like? Well, <laughs> I guess that's an interpretation, but it's one of the real reasons that I wanted to do this exercise in the first place. Um, going dark with some light, put a little metals on here, and then get with the reds. Um, I like the way they ended up looking. I don't have a still shot of it, um, at the end here, I've got them in the middle of a game with Jay and I. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys watch for a second as I decorate these up and I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, any chance to flick red thing, red paint? to try to mimic blood. <laughs> it's always a good one. So um, here we are. We're getting with a real uh, terrain build. Um, sludge boards are quite a bit different than Necromunda boards. Uh, so I had an opportunity here. My friend Mike uh, gave me a whole bunch of these printed buildings. Um, I'm going to be using the plexiglass again. Um, there were going to be originally hills and trees and stuff in, in the board, but I'm running out of time. Uh, I believe we will be in the middle of the big event, um, which will have shots for the next video um, with Sludge, uh, showing my army and playing and things like that. But uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to be just pretty much city for my board. Um, Lots of fun here. Get to do some old, old school scratch building with, uh, you know, rocks and sand textures. Got a couple of busted up trucks there. Um, yeah, I'm running out of time. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's been an exciting couple of weeks here for the channel and for my video making. Um, so yeah, here we are. We're I'm gonna show you just the texturing using good old rock sand and PVA glue and 
I'll get back to you guys in a second. Okay, so here we are. My actual first game of sludge. Uh, there's my almost done painted models. Got my royal magician in that last shot. We're gonna do a little walk through, get a little bit of a taste on what these tables look like. A um, lot less terrain than Necromunda. Um, this is a black powder game. Um, you know, must. Muskets turn into rifles. Um, it's all about ranging and firing and, you know, getting off a charge. It's kind of the standard tabletop war game concept. Um, it doesn't really um, seem a bit boring. And then we got into the game. Uh, the gore tokens uh, provide stress for the unit. Uh, you go off the charts and you know your unit can either die or run away uh kind of like skirmish games um really enjoyed the game jay and i had um obviously i made a bunch of mistakes because as you're watching this footage you'll see the gore tokens we, yeah here come the horses flying out of the the woods at me um but you'll see my gore tokens showing up on my army <laughs> a lot um you know first game had a fun time yeah there we are stress tokens that are sitting on those units um yeah there's my almost painted wizard we'll get him up for the final shots in the next video um you know it was a lot of fun playing this game i was really really in just surprised at how much I enjoyed it. It's been a while since I played a tabletop war game. Um, gotta say, I kind of lost my taste for it for a while there. But uh, this particular one, um, I like the terrain building. Um, it's not a whole lot of effort. You can get a lot of distinct looks. A um, bit more narrative. Um, I do have to say, if Mr. Sutter's actually watching this, um, I have enjoyed your game so far. Um, and we're gonna have a great weekend. Um, just wanna say thanks again, you guys, for taking a look at us. Um, I am absolutely amazed that there's we're growing the way we are. And you guys have a great night and please like and subscribe.